Hello there. Today we will be discussing the radioactive decay, an application of the first order differential equation. So let's move on. So the definition of radioactive decay is the process of radioactive substance emitting some of its mass as it changes form. It is a best described by dy or the change of mass per dt or the change of time which is equals to the negative ky where negative indicates okay negative indicates that it is losing and also the k is the constant and the y is the initial mass we will be investigating a sample so radioactive beryllium is sometimes used to date fossils found in deep sea sediment. The decay of beryllium satisfies the equation dy over dt, which is equals to negative ky, where k is equals to 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative 7, where t, or time, is measured in years. So what is the half-life of beryllium? Half-life is the time required for the half of the radioactive nuclei present in a sample to decay. Given the solution or given the equation, okay, define the equation. We have dy for d, which is equals to negative k y we have to group at the same units so this is dy over y is equals to negative k dt integrating dy over d uh, over y mean y okay y a negative k since this is constant we have to to make sure that it doesn't be in the integration part then it away from the integral part we have ln y is equals to negative k t plus c have c is constant so we need only the y in the left side so we have the y is equals to e to the negative k d e plus c or we shall say that it is e to the c times e negative k times t where e to the constant is equals to constant Therefore, your final equation will have to be C E negative K E. Let's draw a line here. You can, you can fit the solution. So, problem is that we are only given a bit of information. So, y, the k, and the time, one of the time. Okay. So, we have to find what is c. So, at time o equals to 0, we need to find y sub o. Okay. But we all know that y sub o is equals to 1 unit. Or what is 1 unit? That is the mass present at that certain time. We say, we say just 1 kilogram. Okay. So, at that, so we have y sub o is equals to C
E negative point five times ten to the power of negative seven to the time zero. Let's have a uh, zero. E to the zero is one. You know that y sub o is just equal to c. Okay? So we need to take a look that y sub o is equal to c. Just remember that. We will use that at the equation. So half life. The time required for the half of the radioactive nuclei present in the sample to decay. That is our problem, the T sub 1. Where we can say that Y sub 1 is just equal to 1 half of Y sub 0. And hence, we have Y sub 1 is equal to uh, C. Okay? Power of E, negative a times t okay uh, we take a look we pattern the equation here therefore we just substitute what is y sub 1 just equals to 1 half y sub o and what is your c you have y sub o again and this is your e in a negative a E. So we okay. Y sub O is eliminated, so we have one half is equal to E negative A E. So how do we find okay the T is that we have to make that Ln of one half is equals to uh, ln okay e negative k e so this becomes ln one half till then this one is that the negative kt can be put here from your rules of no, ln and e ln e where ln e is equals to what 1 so therefore your t 1 okay 1 is t 1 1 is equals to uh, ln 1 half over negative k so, plug in the values, we have ln of 1 half over negative a, uh, 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative 7, okay, uh, we will have a negative value of 0 0.6 calculator for negative 5 10 to the power of negative 7 so therefore your time required for the half of the radioactive nuclei present in the sample Yes, we have four million six hundred twenty thousand six hundred sixty six point sixty seven years. This is the final answer. So I hope you learn and we'll discuss some more in my next video. Thank you.